one of our protein feeders or a feeder that you can uh, set up on demand. Basically on demand meaning that the, the deer can come up and serve themselves. And basically what I did was I bought a 55 gallon drum and a, a pole and leg kit from a sporting goods store that sold these things. I, I think I, all in all I was probably out the door maybe $70 for this and then I spray painted it as well. And I think my cost incorporated the, uh, the cost of the spray paint. But it's low enough to where I can walk up and fill it with myself by myself without a ladder or anything and that was kind of one of the goals I, I wanted to do and the basically I cut a hole in the bottom and used a toilet flange I believe it's four inches this is a, a four inch joiner right here of I'm not sure what the correct term is and then there's a four inch T right here this one kind of swoops to the side the one that came straight down uh, that was symmetrical was a lot more expensive and then I have some four inch piping and I cut it at a 45 degree angle roughly. It's probably more than that, but anyways, uh, I, I cut two ends on that and stuffed it in there and that's to help keep the, the rain from coming down on it. And then I noticed we were having problems with coons because you can see these scratches right here. That's from coons getting up there and grabbing a hold, hanging on it. And so I put all these screws on there to hopefully deter them from that. And even on the side here, I did a four inch pipe, ripped it with my table saw and then put a bunch of screws in the side. Then I have a piece of sheet metal. I took a, uh, a saw and just cut across here wide enough to stick a piece of sheet metal in there. And that regulates how fast the feed comes out. This one's empty right now, but it's the, keep in mind the height that you want it off the ground in order for the, the deer to come up and stick their mouth in there and get their, their feed out. And I did both sides. The lid has the just a little locking ring on it. Came with the barrel when I purchased this. I don't even bother putting a screw on it. But and then I put a funnel inside just so everything comes out pretty uh, keeps the stuff fresh. I noticed if you don't use a funnel in some of these feeders, that it just starts sitting around the edges and starts stagnating right in there. So I, I put try to put funnels in all the feeders. And those of you that don't use feeders, this is Texas, it's legal, and most uh, property is private, so if you want to hunt somewhere, they basically give you a little spot to set up a feeder and a deer blind, and you sit in it, and that's how you hunt around here. It's not that sportsmanlike, but they, you know, that's just the way it is here. And with little kids, they're just too small for me to get out and take stalking in the woods yet, hopefully in a few more years, because that's how I've always hunted until I had kids. And now I'm hunting from a deer blind for the most part. But uh, that's the cheap and dirty uh, protein feeder. There's probably a little bit uh, easier ways to do it or maybe better ways to do it. But uh, hopefully that'll help somebody get started on theirs if they like. Uh, please comment, subscribe. Thank you.